Our primary focus is to make sure that we maintain the service to the customers as well as making sure that we're protecting our employees was developing an interim operating plan. We have a lot of connections in the community, specifically in the medical community, and we use those resources to help craft this operating plan that looked at all the levers that we needed to pull as the pandemic went through its courses to make sure that we were matching our responses with the evolution of the disease through the community keeping our eyes on what the national statistics were, as well as the local, as well as the international, and using those resources to make sure that we had proper procedures and proper levers to pull. And we used those as we went through this to make sure that we were keeping an appropriate response. By using that and keeping refreshing it, we have a number of revisions to it currently, we were able to make sure that we weren't overreactive or underreactive, and the net result is, we didn't shut down lines, we didn't shut down plants, we kept our supply chain going as best we could within the community to make sure that our customers were served and that all of our employees were safe. It's, it's important, the, the next generation is important so that, um, you know, we want to keep our business going. It's, it's been in the family for 90 years. One of the ways that we've worked with the next generation is we communicate to them what our plans are and they, they really need to know what the future looks like. Everybody kind of wants to have, you know, an understanding of just what their plan is. One of the things we do at Burn is we try to treat the employees like their family, so that there's a trust, uh, there's an understanding, there's a knowledge that we have their back, that we're in this together, and, you know, that's what family's all about. So we really want people to know that when you come to work here and you come to work for Burn, you know, we're in it for the long haul. Things are gonna happen, um, but you know, we're in this together. I think it was uh, an important thing for Burn to enter the aseptic market, primarily because we were pretty much already there. Uh, aseptic production is basically an extension of ESL, which we've been in now for 20, nearly 20 years. Um, and that being said, it's, it's a growing burgeoning market, maybe not necessarily in the United States, but elsewhere. Um, and so to get in at the point that we did, I think was critical because not too many other players are playing in the sandbox right now. The expansion at uh, DeWitt, we refer to it internally within uh, our, our organization as the aseptic project, really kind of consisted of at least four phases. You had obviously the building construction, then the installation of processing and filling equipment. Then you had the you know, validation and commissioning of that equipment and then commercial startup. So each one of those phases, we had separate teams dealing with and handling those and managing those projects. Obviously, you know, the work and the schedules and the timeline all overlapped, but yeah, it was really kind of a team effort uh, right up until startup. Food safety measures here in DeWitt, we, we take very, uh, it's always at the front of mind. And we, dur during the expansion, when we added a building and the aseptic production, we sent many people through training, specific training for food safety. And we also do that on an annual basis with our entire employees. And during the process this year, our SQF score was a 97 which uh, is evidence that we take that very seriously. From a sustainability standpoint, we have, uh, we have several things in, in process there that we've done. In the most recent uh, expansion, we partnered with uh, the town of DeWitt for many years leading up to this to expand our wastewater effluent system. And in that process, we also reduced our water waste, which helps the, the process, but we also improved how we treat that waste. And then in turn, expanded our flow to the city. Uh, so it was a win-win situation for both of us. It's also set us up for the ability to, to expand in the future. And also another leg of sustainability is our trucking operation. We have a fleet of trucks and we replace some of those tractors and trailers uh, because their newer models are more efficient uh, and, and higher reliability, less maintenance. We continue to look at that on an annual basis and replace a set 
number of them and cycle through that process. We also have software that we utilize for those trucks and deliveries and will allow us to pick the best route based on economies of scale and delivery routes, fuel, a number of things so that we have the best routes when those trucks go out.